What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you on iOS 16.5, 16.4 or any other iOS 16 version, maybe even iOS 17 beta. If you want to install jailbreak like themes on your device and some tweaks without a jailbreak, Kawabunga Lite has been released for Windows as well. You no longer need to use the macOS version, you can now do it on Windows. So you can basically customize your device with a theme and some tweaks without a jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Altphone iOS Downgrade Tool which is available for both Windows and Mac OS and this one allows you to basically easily and efficiently downgrade back to iOS 16.5 if of course you have issues with iOS 17 beta because iOS 17 beta is indeed a developer beta which can be very buggy. A lot of applications don't work anymore and of course you will experience some issues. So with this tool you can easily revert back to a stable iOS version if iOS 17 or iPadOS 17 doesn't work for you. You can easily upgrade and downgrade with this, you can install iOS 17 as well and of course this supports all devices that are supported by iOS 17 so no issues in there. The downgrade is actually quite easy to do, you just follow the steps on the application and it will downgrade your device in about 10 minutes if you don't like iOS 17 or if it's too buggy for you. So definitely check the program out in the link below, it's also available on altphone.com. So today the main developer of Kawabanga posted this quote, Kawabanga Lite version 1.2 has released, preliminary Windows support included, get it here. So it's now available here on GitHub. And as I said, Kawabunga Lite is actually quite big. It supports iOS 15 and newer on all devices. It doesn't matter if your device is iPhone 14, 13, 12 or an older device, you will be able to basically use Kawabunga Lite to install themes and some tweaks and stuff like that on any device running iOS 15 and newer. So iOS 16 is supported, iOS 16.5 is supported, 17 even, so there's no problem there. Amongst the features you have theming, but then you also have tweaks like changing your carrier name, changing the secondary carrier carrier name, changing the time text, changing the number of Wi-Fi cellular bars and customizing the control center, the springboard, enabling some internal options like build version in the status bar, iMessage diagnostics and skipping the restore setup, disabling OTA updates, enabling supervision and stuff like that. You can even customize the uh, lock screen, you can add like a, a little footnote text in there. So yeah sure you don't have all the features of a jailbreak but this one doesn't require an exploit at all, it's not detectable by any application as a jailbreak so there will be no problem there. So the version 1.2 is now out, it's been released 19 hours ago and it says it has preliminary Windows support through CLI. So for the moment it's not a user interface, it's command line, like in terminal, like something like this, but it's not a problem if you have a little bit of experience with Windows. So it says in here icon overlays have been added, macOS 11 and 12 and 13 no longer need to be separated, fixes some issues with options resetting when opening the app, fixed status bar using iOS 16.0 instead of 16.3 for iOS 17, and improved error handling and performance. Now the two versions are now available over here, the Windows version and the macOS version, and I have the macOS version over here. There will be eventually a graphical user interface version like this one over here for Windows as well, but for now the Windows version is preliminary support so it's terminal only, you're going to have to write the commands, but you will be able to figure it out, it has a help section. But eventually you will be able to install themes and stuff like that, and as you can see there are quite a few over here, and if you go here with uh, enable button you can add overlays and apply them, hide app labels or import a theme, if you have a theme that you like you can import it in the .theme format. Then you also have control center presets over here to change the layout of the control center. So that's quite great, then you have in here the options and the status bar options to change the breadcrumb for the text, to change the carrier name and stuff like that, to change the network type over here. So there are lots of settings that you can do. Once you're done press apply tweaks in here and that's it. I made a full video on how to use Kaobanga Lite so definitely check it out in the link below in the description. But yeah, it's finally available for Windows as well. This is the Windows version over here, starting from version 1.2. So yeah, definitely check it out. It's a great application while we wait for a full jailbreak to be released for the newer devices. It allows you to get some jailbreak functionality on your device even without a jailbreak, no matter what device you have, and it's completely not detectable by jailbreak detection. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till next time, enjoy and peace out.